In this tutorial of Power BI Do It Yourself, we are going to talk about how to plot using ggplot library from R in Power BI. So, in this video, we're going to talk about creating R visuals using ggplot. Use the same PBIX file which was used in the previous video for Power BI and R visuals. And then create a new page icon on using the plus icon to create a new page at the bottom side of the window on Power BI. So this was the thing which we used in the last video. We clicked on plus sign and created a new page. Very similar to the previous video, we're going to talk about R script visual. Select item name, sales quantity and discount here. So go back in here, click on R, item name, sales quantity and discount and you can see the data frame being formed. Please note that in the R script section of the video, you have to use this code. In order to get this ggplot library, you have to install packages for ggplot2 and there are some R videos in the description section of the video below. You can click on the link and find out the libraries about ggplot and let me go here and paste the code the code what it does is it loads the library ggplot2 in the in the memory and then it's going to create a visual which plots the data set for ggplot let's go from here there you go so i'm going to expand it you can see it plots the data Let's make it more interesting by creating a slicer for item name. I'm going to click on white space here. Click on item name. Click on slicer. This is a slicer. And then ThinkPad. You can see the relationship uh, Oops, on the item name, quantity, and discount using ggplot. Let's make it more interesting and do some colorful plot of ggplots which are more meaningful. So I'm going to go back here, comment this section out and add the following piece of code. This time I'm going to use the sales quantity and item name. I'm going to plot the quantity for item name. So going back here, I'm going to use the ggplot and I'm just going to say run and I'm gonna get rid of ThinkPad here there you go so it shows the relationship of item with sales quantity in different colors again there are a lot of ggplot options which are available in the library go to Google or search for ggplot2 it's one of the most used libraries in R Time for hands-on exercises. Use the same PBIX file which was used for F sales in the previous set of videos. Create multiple usuals, visuals. Think about your uh, data analysis and understand what ggplot visuals you can create. Do some research on ggplot. It's one of the most important libraries. And we go to the next level. In the next video, we're going to talk about time series forecasting using Arima in R. Thank you for watching.